Morning all, just playing around with the FTM 300 on APRS. M0FXB on FTM 300. I know it's a small screen, but the information when it comes in on APRS is very good. I'm just going to sit here and wait for a signal to come in. Hopefully it won't be too long. Okay, we've got one come in there. That's not a full screen, uh, but it did come in. G8WVW. So, uh, whilst we're waiting for that to come through, let's have a quick look at the APRS settings. So, hold down your F, select in red APRS. Go to number one, um, APRS destination. Selecting that, but nothing's happening. Filter. Yeah, I didn't really change anything on that. Message text, so I could add a message there if I wanted to. Nothing there at the moment. I'll just put um, I'll just put my call sign in for now. Um, a bit long winded, but I prefer the touch screen on the FT3 for that. But anyway, we'll get there. M0 F X. B, that'll do. Hold down the bottom, it's in there now, go back. Turn the modem to on position, so it it will transmit. Now, APRS mute, I think that's to um, mute, mute the B band or the A band if you want to. Um, APRS pop up, so yeah, it holds it on the screen. I think for 10 seconds, back, uh, APRS ringer, I haven't got a clue what that is, APRS delay, don't know what that is, <laughs> units, don't know what that is, beacon info, yeah, it's what you send out I'm guessing, back, Beacon status. There you go. Beacon TX. Now I've got that on. It's every three minutes for now. I think more, every, about like every five minutes would be better. So basically, that means it will just transmit and someone else will get your beacon. I don't really understand most of these. I get get your call sign in on number twenty one. That's important, and the number so you can recognise yourself. Message group. Different message you can store. My position. It says manual, but I'm going to put. There's my position. My position set, let's hit that as, yeah, GPS, because I have got a GPS lock here. My symbol, so we just chose a car for now. Doesn't make sense because I'm not at home. Should just choose, I'm going to choose that one. Uh, position comment of duty it says I can change that if you want yeah you see that you can change it to different ones um, let's just go down a bit position comment oh yeah we've done that haven't we so keep that to off duty Smart beaconing is off. And that's it. So 
I mean, there's lots more videos on there explaining what each one of those things do. So we're, we've got it on the B band. We're going to be transmitting every three minutes. We're just waiting for another beacon to come in. Okay, we've had a, a beacon come in there with the, with the information the sender is is uh, sending to us from M3GDW. Now we go if we hit F, we've got this APRS function. Third one down. Let's hit that, and you've got like a shortcut. But if you go to message lists, you can hit that, and there's messages that could have come in. Nothing at the moment. Uh, if you go to station list, then you get all the different stations that I've been receiving. So there's M3 GDW at the top. Uh, there you go. That's his. And let's go back to the other one. I'm receiving GB3. Now his is coming in black and white on the other screen, but now it's fine. G8WVW. So we go back. There are quite a few here that have been coming in. There you go. Back. That one, well, these are quite a few months ago, but I haven't been on APS for ages. But I think it's a great function. Um, and it makes you enjoy the radio more. M0FXB FT300 on APRS.